Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Apophis here and welcome back to a brand new video on Apophis Stinger Reviews and welcome back to a huge milestone celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially crossed the line of 1,000 subscribers. You guys have been crushing the love and support on my channel, crushing the subscriber count, crushing the views and crushing, of course, the watch hours. Ladies and gentlemen, without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. This video wouldn't even exist. So first of all, I want to say thank you guys for all of those who are watching, uh, Ryan, returning subscribers, and for all those who are new to my channel. My name is Liam, also known as Apophis, and I do watch reviews, designer reviews, and luxury item reviews, and of course, technology reviews. Today in this video, I'm gonna talk about this phone. This is my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 that I've been using for the past four to five weeks and of course have been using to record every single YouTube video I've been uploading for the past month or two. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the review of the game today's Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. talk about the dimensions. So of course we have a 6.3 inch cover display and of course the main event of this video the 7.6 inch outer display. So this phone of course like any foldable is a tablet and a phone within each other. Very satisfying to using use and very slim. I have been using before I bought this phone the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and unfortunately that phone broke down. Uh, I dropped something onto the phone in July at the end of July so I badly needed a new phone and yes I went with the Z Fold 6 and not with the OnePlus Open and not with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold or of course the Honor Magic V3. These are four, well, three other competitors of the Z Fold 6, uh, both having similar price tags starting at around 1800 to a well, to two grand. Um, yes, but apparently the Z Fold 6 is 30% lighter than its predecessor. Uh, the finish and feel feels much better than of course on the Z Fold 4 that I had. Of course, it's slimmer and weight-wise, the phone is not as heavy of course it still weighs a hefty 295 grams but in comparison to the z fold 4 and the z fold 5 that's significantly lighter um, now of course when it comes to the hinge the hinge has definitely been improved in terms of overall design so this makes the z fold 6 um, more water resistant and more dust resistance than its predecessors of course the crease is still a bit noticeable uh, but you know once you actually use the phone for a quite a bit you kind of forget that the crease is even there also the inner display has been improved in terms of strength um, still very fragile though don't get me wrong it's still a foldable phone and foldable phone displays are more fragile than of course normal phone displays but of course they have improved the durability of the inner and outer displays and of course you have of course your triple camera setup light on any type of modern S series. Alright, now let's talk about the cameras on the Z Fold 6 and they're actually quite good. As you might have seen on my videos, I've been shooting all the videos that I've been uploading for the past couple of weeks shot on this beautiful Galaxy Z Fold 6. Of course, I am very satisfied with the quality um, and I do think this is 
more than enough that I need. I am not a photographer. I'm not a videographer. I'm a content creator. So for me, cameras are important, but the quality of this camera isn't as bad as people might think. Of course, I understand that, of course, the lesser S24 Ultra in price and the iPhone 16 Pro Max are cheaper in comparison to a Z Fold 6, an Honor Magic V3, a Google Pixel 9 Pro Fold, or a OnePlus Open, but this is not what this phone is targeted to. This phone is targeted for people that are either artists, content creators, musicians, or CEOs that need to do things on a larger scale. And of course, making use of that huge screen, that 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED screen. Um, so of course, camera wise, the phone isn't terrible. And I will showcase you a lot of videos right now and photos taken on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 to show you that it's actually not terrible at all. This is a video taken on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 with the front display camera. This is a video taken on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 on the inner display camera. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and this is of course a video shot on my Galaxy Z Fold 6 while using its foldable tablet mode right now, using of course the back cameras of this beautiful phone. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is a unique feature that only get you, that you only get on of course the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip series and the Z Fold series. Now of course the Z Fold series is of course better at using this type of feature because of course you have that bigger and wider cover display. Now of course the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Fold 4 also had that feature, but it's uniquely to of course any foldable phone. Very handy as a content creator and of course very unique. All right, let's do a camera test right now on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 with an object. Now I'm going to bring in my Rolex 116508 Paul Newman that I showed in my 150th subscriber special. So this is recorded on to the 50 megapixel main camera lens in 60 frames per second and 4K. All right, let's now test the telephoto lens in full HD. Of course, the telephoto lens cannot shoot videos in 4K, which is not a bad thing, but because of course, why would you use a telephoto lens uh, in order to take a video? But well, same watch, same object, very beautiful uh, camera shot on this beautiful Rolex Paul Newman they turn up. All right, and last test, of course, the ultra wide lens on this Galaxy Z Fold 6. Same object, the Rolex 116508 Paul Newman um, in all its might and glory uh, on the ultra wide camera lens. All right, let's talk about processor. We have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 across all versions. So it doesn't matter if you buy the Z Fold 6 in America, if you buy the Z Fold 6 in the in the Europe, or you buy the Z Fold 6 in Asia. It's basically all across the board, the same processor unit with 12 gigabytes of RAM would give you excellent multitask performance, gaming performance, as I will show right now. All right, now let's test multitasking on a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now let's open my favorite app, Instagram. Okay, perfect, nice. Okay, it works smoothly, but of course that 120 hertz refresh rate, very nice, doesn't lag at all. Um, yeah, wish every iPhone would come with that, of course. No, unfortunately not. Okay, so now I'm gonna open Instagram on this page right here. I'm gonna drag it to the left, and now I'm gonna open my camera module. There we go. Now I can take photos of with it and do whatever I want. Now let's say I want to, of course, um, open a third app. I can actually drag my gallery into the mix. There we go. And now I can see my gallery with, of course, having the ability to take photos and, of course, see Instagram. 
Let's swipe that over here. Now I'm gonna open my messenger or my message app. There we go. And now I can read my messages on this app, on this phone while still having my gallery open. I can still use and drag this to, of course, uh, to see my camera, to take photos, for example, with something important. And of course, I can still scroll through Instagram while on it. Very, very nice. All right, now let's talk gaming performance. I'm gonna open three of my favorite games. Let's start with, of course, um, yeah, Genshin Impact. Very, very hefty game for a phone to run. But of course, it's beautiful to play on the 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display uh, with, of course, that peak brightness of 120, uh, 2600 nits. So let's crank that baby up and look at that. That's crazy. All right, let's load into the game and let's do a quick show Go around. Um, yeah. Perfect. Let's load into the world and let's uh, let me show you guys what you actually get, which you don't get on an S24 Ultra or a 16 Pro Max, and that's of course this huge and wide screen. Uh, now, of course, it looks amazing, right? Keep this close. Yeah. Mm. As you can see, no lag. Ooh. Let's start. Disappear. Beautiful. Doesn't lag at all. This is what the Z Fold 6 is all about, or any foldable for that matter. Um, yeah, this is just a whole other experience. Uh, very, very nice. Let's load into my second game, of course, and let's load into uh, Honkai Star Rail, also made by the same, uh, well, company or same uh, game development manufacturer. Um, also a very, very interesting game, but this is, of course, not as, as advanced as, uh, of course, Genshin Impact. But, of course, let's load into that game again. <laughs> because of course you have the wider gaps and wider panels so of course you uh, will be able to uh, hear much, things much better than on of course uh, a normal phone you know speakers on phones are quite terrible So that's uh, Honkai Star Rail for you guys. And now let's launch into Geometry Dash, also one of my all-time favorites. Um, yeah, let's uh, play a quick level. Uh, maybe a time machine. This is like an OG game from the past. It was very popular in 2012, 2013, but I still love playing it. It's very frustrating, but it's nice.
very smooth, very beautiful sound and soundtrack. I actually love this song so much. Perfect. All right, now let's talk about S Pen support. Yes, the Z Fold 6 has S Pen support on the big screen, the 7.6 inch. Unfortunately, on the cover screen, the Z Fold 6 does not uh, allow S Pen support like on the S24 Ultra, which is kind of a shame. I wish Samsung would have implemented Z Fold on the Z Fold 6 cover display S Pen support because, of course, as an artist, it's very nice to have that S Pen. And sometimes you just want to use that S Pen on the cover screen, but you can't. Now, of course, the S Pen is not included with the phone. Unfortunately, you have to buy the S Pen case separately. When you uh, bought the phone at launch, you could get an S Pen case for free from Samsung with, of course, big discounts on this phone. Unfortunately, that promotion has already ended. So the S Pen case, if you want S Pen, if you want an S Pen, costs a hundred euros. All right, let's wrap up this video and give you my overall opinion on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, of course, there is a lot of competition when it comes to foldable. Whether you buy the Honor Magic V3, which is the slimmer and has a better camera than the Z Fold 6, or you buy the Google 9 Pixel Pro Fold, or you buy the OnePlus or the Galaxy Z Fold 6, all these phones are still the pinnacle point of the foldable technology. Uh, and of, of course, Huawei now has, of course, the tri-fold phone, which is not available in the European market or on the, uh, uh, on the American market. Um, but yeah, this is still one of the most impressive phones when it comes to overall performance, when it comes to uh, the screen size, and when it comes to display size. Like, ladies and gentlemen, a fold, like I said, is targeted towards a different type the clientele is it okay that you cannot afford this type of phone yes that's totally fine most people don't even need to fold um, I only recommend the fold or a foldable phone in general for those who are a designer an artist a content creator or a CEO like I said that need to do things on a whole different scale um, either than that you're not going to use the phone to the same extent as we guys do now I hope you enjoyed the review of this Galaxy Z Fold 6 if you have any more questions just drop a comment down below and I will see you on the next video on Apophis Taking Reviews. Peace out. Whoosh.